in, in your mind when you guys uh, had a little bit of a lead and they go on that 23 to 5 run, what happened? Um, was that anything they did or was that you guys kind of losing role? The three point line killed us today. I mean, the two top scorers hit more threes than me and Kai. Like, we matched them pretty much scoring, but it's the three point line that separated us. Nine to 16. I mean, this team is an incredible offensive rebounding team. Um, I don't think they, uh, I think we pretty much matched up on the boards. We passed the ball well. We didn't turn the ball over. Um, the fact they knocked down more threes than us, that's the, that's the name of the game now. You know, even if you're not playing well um, or up to par with the your opponent, if you're making threes, you give yourself a chance. So I think that's what really separated us was the three-point line. They couldn't stop us either. We got we shot 54%. Um, we got to the line. And like I said, we passed the ball well. Did turn it over. I mean, but they shot better in front of us than the three-point at the three-point line. I mean, <clears throat> I think sometimes we're indecisive on some stuff, some stuff we should be switching, and then we, one guy's on one page, one guy's on another. I think that um, sometimes our communication is off, and in a league, if you, you know, a team sees you make a mistake, they capitalize on it pretty easily and pretty quick. So, um, you know, we couldn't go back and forth with this team because they was knocking down three-pointers. But I think we we pretty much got whatever we want on the offensive end, too. Uh, it was a shootout, but they happened to make more threes than us. Has that, I mean, in your mind, if you go all the way back to the preseason, I mean, you guys haven't probably shot as <coughs> well as uh, eventually fun. you will, you know, as well as the back of your basketball cards that say you will. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we just got to, we, we probably could create better looks for, especially, uh, you know, me and Kai, we probably can create better looks. Uh, um, at the three point line, but you know, we still feel confident that we'll knock him down moving forward. Is the fixed defensively that just reps? Uh, yeah, I mean, anything is rep. You can rep a lot of stuff out, but it's it's about having your mind in the right place and being focused and disciplined on the game plan and making adjustments on the fly, being able to make that adjustment as an individual player and as a team on the fly. and. Uh, <sighs> You know, being able to have you know versatile defenders that can do everything. So we got we got pretty much that. It's just uh, when teams start knocking down threes on us, that just makes us all frantic. Now we running out trying to contest, and they dumping it all for a layup. They may kick it to the other side. So it's like we we, we get down 12. We can't panic on defense and start uh, you know not playing. We we not playing solid when we get down and. Team started knocking down shots. You see, Bain just miscommunications made a few threes just from us not even um, just leaving them open, not switching, not pursuing on the screen, you know, little stuff like that. Uh, and Bain was due for a huge night. He was he been struggling shooting the last three games, so you knew he was going to get hot at some point. And then John Moran making threes as well, you know. So uh, it was a tough one for us, but you know we didn't. Totally, just give it to how they play. We had, we made them make shots over us. When Ben said all along, it's not your job to, to give anybody a pep talk. And they, you, you notice him getting a little more frustrated with the continued foul problems that he's dealing with. Yeah, I think a few of those were questionable, um, but that's just how it is. And I'm sure they called a few questionable ones on them as well. And it just evens out at some point. I thought the last foul he got was, I didn't think that one was a foul, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, Ben's a veteran in this league, so, you know, he trusts himself. We trust him, and this is about just bouncing back next game. On the other end, I mean, obviously for a guy who missed a year, it's going to take him a while to get back to being old, better, old, better, or whatever. But does he have to be more aggressive in terms of driving? And just guys going to lay off. Yeah, we want everybody to be more aggressive. You know, uh, we want Royce to be more aggressive. We want Ben, um, uh -huh. Joe when he come in, Ed when he come in. We, want, you know, we want everybody to be aggressive. You know, that's just that's the name of basketball. Is to, you know. Um, Impose your will on your opponent. So, yeah, we encouraging that every time we step out on the floor. As you look forward, how would you describe the challenge of guarding Giannis? 
You can't stop these superstar players in the league. Make it as tough as you can. Hopefully they're not, they're not knocking down shots that game. You know, their coaches are going to scheme for them and put them in positions to be successful. And our game is spread out game. So these guys are going to score. It's about limiting them as a team and taking them away from the stuff that they like to do as a team. Giannis going to make tough buckets. Drew going to make tough buckets. Um, but it's about, you know, making them feel us and having them shoot over a hand every time down. Yes, on, on different note, um, the report that Jaws getting his first signature shoot after this year. I'm just curious for you, what did that, what did it mean for you when you got your first shoot? What do you think it's going to do for Jaws to kind of show what his star is like in this league? It's a dream come true. I mean, you know, to work with the biggest company in the world, with Nike, be a signature athlete. I mean, his shoes going to fly off the shelves. He's the most marketable guy in our league, the face of our league going forward. So many kids are inspired by what he does, uh, you know, and we're all one big family at Nike, so, you know, uh, it's going to be a lot of support for his shoe coming out. And, you know, as an individual player, when you get that type of recognition, man, it's just, it's hard to describe. So I'm happy for him and, you know, know, know his shoe going to look incredible and I know he's going to continue to keep pushing the game forward. And what did you feel when you got your first shoe? You kind of just feel like... I still don't know what to feel, bro. <laughs> it's still surreal seeing my name on shoes every time I put them on. I don't wear nothing else but my shoes when I play ball. It's pretty cool. So um, it's an exciting time being able to create, um, being able to be a part of a, a partner, be, be partners with Nike. You know, it, it, it's still a dream to me. You just think he's a new face? Of the league? Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's a lot of faces. We, we, you can tell, tell the, the changing of the, the errors in the league as time goes on. Last 10 years and this next 15 years, you see the guys that are in the league right now that uh, are going to help push the game forward. And, you know, uh, that's really what it's all about. It's not one guy, two guys, three guys that, you know, shift or, ch or changes the game. It's a, it's a group of us that do it. And Ja is definitely in that group for sure.